not be no issues, but it could be some issues. All right. The first thing is I got a big old hog in there. All right. The second thing is I forgot the trailer. <laughs> Always gotta be some issues. <laughs> and welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show. Ah, we're about two to three weeks before Christmas right now. Two weeks, three weeks. I don't know. I usually don't trap hogs this time of year, but I had a landowner wanted me to trap hogs. But we got some issues with these hogs. They being a little bad. Let me show you. Let me show you what we got. So we got the big pig trap there. We're in this old bottom right here, right? Oh, the hogs have been coming here. They had a feeder up, and the hogs just keep tearing up the feeder and whatnot, so, and just rooting up around right here. So I come in here and put this camera up. Now, you're probably asking, me, well, okay, you always put a camera up, right? Look what they've done again. So the hogs are tearing up my camera. My camera, this is, this is two nights in a row. Put the camera up, they tore the wires out and crushed them. <sighs> what am I going to do here? I mean, I give them a place to eat. <sighs> and they still want to tear up this stuff. Let's get over here. I thought it might have been coons at first, but it, it ain't no it ain't no coon tracks. It's all hog tearing up. So anyway, I got to fix that. Fix that cord. Get the camera back going and get this trap set up and see if we can catch them. I don't usually trap this time of year because... It's corn feeders and everything around other places and, and hogs just go on and then these old bottoms like this right here, they'll have acorns falling and there'll be acorns all out there. But we're going to try them. It's a nasty mess. Oh, and whatnot. So like they're laying around, carrying on. We got some, but we're going to set that trap right there and see if we can't get these hogs caught. So let me get the trap set and uh, see if we can't get this going. You know what I'm saying? Man, tearing up my stuff. I'm finna tear the head up. What I'm finna do? I'm finna tear the head up, anyway. Yes, sir. Well, there you have it, folks. Traps up over everything. I say over everything. Man, it's just so nasty. Oh, right there where they dug it up. Anywho, we uh got it ready for them. But anyway, man, I don't know what to do about this. I've never had uh, hogs just tear up everything. Let me go get, get my shot out of the way. Anyway, I stack some logs around. Maybe it'll deter them, but we'll know. But maybe I catch them before because they're doing it. I'm watching them on camera. And uh, like I said, I'm watching them on camera. So they're doing it sometime in the night. I don't know what, why they're doing it, but they, they like something where they're tearing it all up. And uh, But anyway, let's get out of here. See what the hole's gonna do. Whew, good morning. It's a good 37 degrees here in the south. That's pretty cool. What y'all think, dogs? Yeah. Bella's about to freeze. Bella's about to freeze. I know it. But anyway, we got hogs caught on the first night on this piece of property. Did not expect to catch this time of year. Usually don't catch this late. It's like uh, the 6th or 7th of December. Uh, that being said, when you're watching this episode, go to yawpyawp.com. We got Christmas presents on there for y'all. Well, I mean, it's not for y'all. If y'all buy something, it could be a Christmas present for somebody. <laughs> we got the y'all y'all hats and all that. So uh, y'all y'all turkey calls, whatever. Get it for your kids, your wife, your your husband, your granddaddy. Uh, if you know somebody that's a fan of the y'all y'all, which is me, by the way, uh, go by there and get them a hat. That's United States uh, only. So, but any which way, thank y'all. Now, let me go get the trailer so we can have something to drag the hogs up on. Any which way, <clears throat> we got to good catch of hogs, a good mess of hogs. Mm. And I already called the fella last night that wants the hogs to distribute. Boy, it's gonna be some holiday hams being cooked up this year. Come on, let's roll. 
we headed on down here. Oh, and I forgot my my little camera holder. I don't know. I left it in a stand yesterday, deer hunting or what, but I don't have it. So we're going to have to rig up some stuff to get some footage, I guess. Try to get up here and get a light on. Got a lot of water here. I don't want to get stuck. Get a little light on right there. See what kind of group we got here. Uh oh. Got a jumper. Get her down. And get her down. <laughs> it's hard to get a shot on it. Yeah, she might not. They like this morning now. Like I said, those pigs look like they got just a, a lot more just regular feral in them. They are. Than a, and them, are, them aren't quite the, a lot of them have got the really? shorter nose than that. Really? really? Like that one right there in the middle. Dude looks like he ought to be hanging out in your front yard. We can make them a pet. <laughs> yeah, we finna pet them. Well, I think it was seven of them. Uh, but that one, like I said, had to go and knock her down. She was, she was acting wild, but she's the biggest one. Well, guys, we got them knocked down. We got seven pigs off this piece of property. And like I said, I've already got somebody that wants to pig. So, But I'm super excited because I don't trap this time of the year. And uh, it worked out on the first night drop. So, who the Lord with you on that one. So, we're going to see if we can't get them lined up, get our picks, and then see if we can't get them loaded on the trailer and get out of here. As you can tell, now y'all seen I was in here yesterday. But it's, it's if you get off the road any, you're staying off the road for a minute. Like I said, I got that four wheel scratch, but I don't believe them tires got enough grip on them to get out of that. So, anyways, we're going to show the pigs here in just a little bit. But I want to show you that pig that looks like, I don't know, he looks like the neighbor's pig. But anyway, it's going to line up. pig i was talking about guys look at that that dude looked like he come out of somebody's backyard or house i don't know it's just got that look about him but he shouldn't come over here as i like to Get it pulled up out of the way. Oh, 
right, let's see if we can't get turned around around here. Whoo, man, that pig pretty stout now. That, that sow pretty stout. I'm thinking about going away in her. I wanted to see. I got, I don't know how much time I got. It's 7.43, I'm supposed to meet my wife around 10-ish uh, to help. Somebody donated a lift chair for, for a hospice patient. So I'm supposed to go help pick that up and deliver it today. So uh, over in Columbus. So anyway, I'm gonna try to do that for her because my wife's so special. I like to try to do special things as well. We're all blessed to be healthy as we are. And some of us, you know, need lift chairs and wheelchairs. And uh, when you're blessed and you're healthy, you should help the people that are not as blessed and healthy. But anyway, oh, let's turn this around. Let's get out of here and go feed some families. Let's see if we can get oh, stuff figured out. Like I said, I done lost my tripod thing, but I'll get another one. We'll figure this out. <laughs> I'll turn a bucket. I'll put that there, and then I'll put that just like that, and we'll see if we can't figure it out. You know what that means? Show it right here. <sighs> Boom. Did all that work and we don't know. The uh, things I messed up. Well, it's just my luck. Scales don't work. Did all the work. Yeah, I probably should have tested the scales before I put them on there, huh? That's all right. Let me get my bucket and whatnot. But anyway, oh, we're just going to go give these away and uh there you have some holiday hounds for the holidays oh, good little eaters and one big and probably two i'm gonna say still two 200 on that big sale I'm, I'm at least gonna say 200 but anyway gotta go get more of my wife so you know how it goes let's roll <sighs> Well, y'all see I got some help today. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need Red, I'm gonna need you to be more just a film guy today. Uh-huh. Uh so we got uh, it might not be no issues, but it could be some issues. All right. The first thing is I got a big old hog in there. Alright. The second thing is I forgot the trailer. <laughs> Always gotta be some issues. <laughs> mm. That's what I be saying all the time. <laughs> why, why I got so much issues? So, uh, 
what I want to do is, I think, I don't know how big of a hog he is, but I know he's uh, he's bigger than the other two that's in there. He's about that big on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the TV screen, he's only about that big. So, uh, anyway, we, we, we just have to do the best we can. I got to go to the chiropractor today. So, uh, can we get a two for one session? <laughs> <laughs> we might roll both. It might have the wheelchairs up in that, there today. That's right. That's but, right. uh, I do we, I do have a little spot cleaned out in the back of my truck. So we can get we can at least get one hole back there. But well, any hoes guys. We let the rough end drag and the slick end slide. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta let the slick end slide. Cause they don't like the way I drag deer on here. Yeah. See, I drag them by the back leg. But you know, yeah, when we, we grew up, Daddy always just said, Grab a leg, son. That's it. And you just grabbed it and went on. That's it. We we ain't carry ropes and uh -huh. scratchy straps and stuff like that around uh -huh. us to drag deer out, so well, I ain't know no different. Nope. <laughs> Just grab a leg, son. That's it. Oh, you, leg and you get you get to pulling. <laughs> well, we're gonna go down here and see if we can't pull up on uh, these hogs. But I feel like we need to go on down there. Why it's darker the other day. Uh, I had one just kind of want to jump around yeah. a little bit. So I figure since it's a big hog, maybe we're just gonna get it knocked down. And as daylight gets here, uh, we'll do our work. There you go. Oh, uh, your work or ever had. Yep. <laughs> You changed yeah. out of transmission yesterday? Uh, no. <laughs> I had a bad day yesterday, but I tell you what, Lord, Lord bless me. He did? I, uh, coming down the road, and this lady's car was broke down and everything, and I pulled over there and pulled up there in the Pizza Hut place, you know, and I got out and went out there. I said, ma'am, you got trouble, and her lights were flashing and all that. I said, will it crank? She said, no, it won't do anything. I said, well, put it in park and try to crank it. She put it in park and cranked it up and drove off. <laughs> the Lord did that not for her, for me, because he know damn well I couldn't push that car out that road. <laughs> well, see, and I'm the kind of person that uh, I can't fix nothing. I probably wouldn't have found that. So I'd have been like, Lord, send somebody that can help her. <laughs> I probably saw her. <laughs> no red showed up. <laughs> anyway, let's get out here and get these hogs. <laughs> We got mud on both sides of the road here. So we had to be careful. Trying to figure out the best way to shine some lights here. And get up there. Pig don't look too big. He only stand about six inches above that middle ring. Uh uh take dog on. He ain't full from he can scratch his back on the on the thing you pick it up with you. <laughs> Got a bad leg. I wonder if he hurt that bad leg. If he hurt that bad leg when he, uh, when that trap dropped. Guess we're gonna get him knocked down real quick. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> 
a little tight end. A little tough. That worked. A little tough. Yeah. Like two sows and a big old bull. I give out already. I'm getting on the verge of it myself. <laughs> <clears throat> they got some decent little teeth on this one. We, we may have to get that barn crossing stuck. <laughs> get you. <laughs> Ready to do just grab the back lead. Grab the back lead. Hey, or are both. Let's go ahead. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Stout in. One, two, three. Well, Red, uh, would you say that I probably shouldn't have forgot the trailer? I, I'd appreciate it if you brought, remembered it the next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad, man. Bye -bye. Hey, but I will say, do you think, what, what, in your opinion, me forgetting to take my wife to dinner, not forget to take her out to dinner, I'm talking about forgot her and I went to eat dinner and forgot her, or do you think forgetting the trailer is worse? Well, that's all relevant to who you asking. You asking me, your wife. <laughs> for me, the trailer for her. Oh, I'm about eating now. <laughs> oh, we laugh about it, but you know, it all worked out. It all worked out. So I cooked last night, and and about she didn't get done with all her uh, running around and carrying on. About eight o'clock, she said, "Baby, I just ain't gonna eat tonight." And I was like, you know, I mean, it didn't hurt my feelings, you know, but. I did all that hard cooking. I put all that stuff in the crock pot. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Then you think it was uh, uh, worth uh, her to not eat your cooking, or you not to take her to eat? Yeah, you know what? The dogs ain't good. We good. <laughs> <laughs> She's sweet. Though. She is sweet. All right, guys. Well, we got it reset, and uh, we'll put a little more feed in there for them and see what's happened. But I'm about to leave and head to Texas. Uh, today's Thursday? Friday. Today's Friday. Okay, today's Friday. All right, I'm leaving tomorrow then. <laughs> See, I forgot what day it is, Red. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and then we'll refeed, and hopefully, uh, if there's one more hog, there's a spotted hog I know of. So maybe he'll get comfortable and come on in there. It smells like hog for show. So anyway, let's get this tailgate closed, Red, and, uh, I already called the texted fella and he said he ready for the hog. So good deal. knocking heads good and family. feeding families. <laughs> and some good dragon help. <laughs> hey Red, I forgot to go I gotta go to that chiropractor, so you wanna, you wanna follow me? Yeah, I'm, I'm going with you. <laughs> we can get a two for one. Two man. for one. <laughs> <sighs> well guys. I guess that's the end of this episode. We caught a sounder in late December, or well, it ain't late, it's middle of December. I usually don't trap this time of the year, but oh, we caught them, pretty good sounder. Now, I know I got a spotted hog left in there, but we'll try to save it for another episode when I get back from Texas, if he decides to come in. That being said, hey, hit the like button right now. Subscribe if you can. Thank you so much for joining into the Y'all Y'all Show. Any which way, y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless and as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!